going to show you how to add value to a sphere or a circle to let that circle look as though it's three-dimensional even though we know it's flat on a two-dimensional surface. So first of all, many students tell me they can't draw a circle. And so I have kind of a trick to help you draw a circle. You want to kind of train your brain, your, your head and your arm, kind of eye-hand coordination. So if you take your pencil and you hover over your paper and you go in circles, go in a circular motion. And when you think you see that you're drawing a really good circle, then you just lower your pencil, okay, onto the paper. And that's a good way of kind of just training your eye-hand coordination, train your brain. That once you have your sphere drawn in, now we need to add a light source. That tells us where is the light coming from. So you could do a little star here, um, just something that tells us that the light is coming from this direction and we want the arrow pointing saying light's coming from up here and it's shining down on this side. So the part that's closest to the sun is going to be the white that we have up in here. If we were to add another box here, this would be our white. So this is going to be our white area. So that means that across from the sun, across the sphere, this is going to be our darkest area. Now one of the really important parts of working with shading is that we want to use contour line. So let me just show you if I turn this paper over and I were to draw another circle here, another sphere, and I had my sun up here and my lights shining down. If I were to shade with the dark here and come straight up like this and get lighter and lighter and lighter, can you see how that's not really looking like it's turning, it's not really looking like a, a ball of a sphere? It's looking very flat, but if we use contour line, if we use a curved line, and this is another way you could either start with uh, your pencil up and down like this, make a nice crisp edge. You want that edge to be nice and crisp and clean, okay, all the way around. So you start with a really dark edge, and then we notice I'm, I just transferred my pencil to the side, so I'm now using the side of the pencil, and then I can go in and I can add value and I can make it lighter. Sometimes students kind of do this, kind of right in here, and that's okay. It's not bad, but we want to make it pop. So we want to make sure that this is really black down here, and watch how I can just push this. We want to have a gradation. So we're using the, you're using all these values. We want to try and have white, a black, and at least two mediums. So I like to see four different values. We have a white, we have a black, and then two mediums in the middle. So one, two, three, and four. We should have four different values at least in here. Okay, at the minimum. And if I just kind of continue. Now notice how I'm curving that line. Okay, by curving that line I'm using contour line. And I'm gradually lightening up on the pressure as I come up to where it's light out. Okay, coming to the light, it's going to get lighter. I could take my eraser, maybe erase a little bit of this line. We don't want to erase the entire line. We still need to show the edge of the object. But you can see, now do you see how I see a little bit line here? I want to blend that a little bit. I shouldn't really be seeing any white paper kind of showing through. See how that's now looking round? Now something else that's really going to make be important is we want to make sure that we have a really good a good cast shadow. Now our cast shadow, I'm going to go back over to the other side. When we add a cast shadow, we want the cast shadow to not look like it's standing up. A lot of students make the mistake of making their cast shadow come over and kind of come way out over here. And visually it looks like the cast shadow should be coming way back here, like it's almost like standing up giving you a high five. We want it to look really flat. So we are going to take the cast shadow and we're going to come right from the bottom of this object here and we're going to bring it straight out. Now we can bring it up a little bit, but it really is going to be flat on the ground. We're not going to have it really very wide. We're going to have it foreshortened. We're going to kind of make it skinny, foreshorten it, and we're going to make it longer. Now, if my sun's up here, this should be the darkest spot on my shape. And as my cast shadow comes out from the object, what do you think is going to happen? What should happen? What's happening here? 
Do you notice I'm making it lighter as it comes out? Okay, so do you see how now this shape is looking three-dimensional? And we've contour line, we have gradation of value, we have a flat foreshortened cast shadow, and we compare this to kind of what I was doing here, and you can really see the difference. This is very flat, and this here is looking very round, like it's going to pop off the paper. So that's what I want you to try and do. Okay? So you do the best you can. Practice this. The next shape I'm going to show you is going to be the cone. Have fun. Good luck. Keep practicing.